In order to understand the context of indenture better, here at the National Archives, we're able to read documents of the period and start to piece together the facts and details that led to indenture. Girmit comes from the word agreement, and agreements like this documented the name, place of birth, occupation, next of kin, and faith, and allows us an insight into the early lives of these individuals. The National Archives are the official archive of the UK government, and we hold records going back um, a thousand years. Those records belong to the nation, and they help us to, to tell its stories. So the role of the National Archives is to um, collect, to preserve, to keep safe those records. And um, importantly, we believe that archives are for everyone. And that's because they're about everyone. So um, they're about people in the past, they're about people in the present, and importantly, they're about the future too. And so an important part of our role is to make those archives accessible to everyone, wherever they are. The National Archives has over a thousand years of this country's history and within it we contain some fascinating and important files about the story of indentured labour. These histories of indentured labour, of the contracting, of the employment, of the transportation are available for global audiences, audiences that can access them at any time, anywhere in the world. Our collection is one important perspective on this story, but if it's complemented through collaboration with others, and other record types, parliamentary records, records in other national archives, oral histories, that enriches the whole and brings the whole jigsaw together in an important way. So oral history is about bringing out the individual stories and the emotional sides of people's memories. You can come to an archive of this kind and find incredibly valuable resources that will tell you a lot of information about how many people left to go to Fiji or the companies that were involved in the indentured labour process but you wouldn't find very much about the emotional side. What was driving people to try and find a new life, to start a new life? What challenges did people face when they arrived? What were their living conditions like? What friendships did they make? What was the work that they were doing like? What impact did that have on them? And that's hopefully what the oral histories will bring out for this project. I think rather than facts and figures, what we're really interested in is a feeling. So we're interested in connecting with uh, young people on an emotional level. If you, make that if you make that emotional connection with young people, they are far more likely to remember learning about that period in history than if you're just talking facts and figures. So it's really important that we hang this on real life experiences and we tell real life stories. So we're absolutely delighted to be um, working on this project with Nautikut, um, which is obviously around the wider story of indentured people. And this partnership actually is um, a great example of how archives can be a resource to bring people and communities together. Working in partnership, you can often reach communities um, that may not be familiar with archives um, and, and obviously widen our, our audience and share those stories more widely. So we do have this important collection of records which um, relate to Indian indenture, um, both in terms of uh, individual colonies and in terms of how the system actually worked. So on the one hand, you've got these administrative records which give us a very good idea of some of the bigger picture of this history. Um, for example, the kind of numbers and scale of this part of history, people being transported from India to the colonies but then on the other hand, we've also got some records which allow researchers to look at individual human stories. So we go from the sort of bigger picture history right down to the personal stories. Um, and I think that this project is something that can help us to look at both of those angles and to, to, to share those things more widely with people for whom uh, this, this may be really relevant as part of their identity or their history. Documents, data and the social and political motivations alongside the human story underpins the story of Girmit.